this episode of the Life Hackathon, we are going to show you how to make your own home distiller in order to extract oils, essential oils, just using a pressure cooker. So we start using uh, anything you want to extract oils from. Here we're using green tea. Add some water and put it in the pressure cooker. Seal it very well. Turn on the fire. Make sure the copper wire is rinsed completely in some cold water. Here I add some ice in order to keep it cold so that the water vapor that comes out of the pressure cooker is condensed and it ends up in this tube. So one of the biggest challenges over here is trying to seal the wires very well because the pressure is going to be pretty strong and going to try to escape through the tiny openings. As you can see here, this is another variation. Instead of using raw ice, uh, you could use one of those plastic bottles in which you would uh, freeze water and uh, put it in the container to keep the water cool and um, now another big challenge is once you've collected the this this uh, solution which has water and has oil floating on top of it is that you would need to extract the oil from the surface here we're just gonna uh, try to have a look at it at a microscope that um, we've built ourselves and uh, see what we get in another video, I'm going to show you how to make your own microscope, super microscope, or even what to see in a microscope. So if you uh, like what you're doing, please share it, like it, comment, and we'll promise to show you some more. So this is a homemade light microscope. I can't tell you enough about... Uh, essential oils and their benefits, their infinite benefits that vary from um, boosting your energy, digestion like peppermint, uh, it could help you sleep, relieve stress like lavender, sandalwood could help you calm down and focus, bergamot to reduce stress again, improve skin conditions, rose which is one of the most expensive when extracted purely, used to improve the mood and reduce anxiety, chamomile to help you relax and sleep. Uh, tea tree used for uh, infections and boost immunity. And uh, jasmine would help you with depression. Lemon aid with digestion, mood, headaches, and more. So there are many uh, essential oils you can find online, but be careful not to buy um, artificial ones because they could actually be bad for you. Um, I, I really haven't tried many of them, but uh, this is one that I could recommend based on the reviews. Um, unfortunately, I don't live in the States in order to try one of these, but uh, I guess you could uh, check it out and let me know if this is good. Um... Okay, the whole point of this video was to make you, uh, to have you make your own essential oils and not have to buy any. But the thing is, it might be difficult for you to find um, some of these um, natural herbs or even uh, once you try this experiment, you're going to find out that um, it's very hard to seal the, um, the wires and uh, not let some of the oils escape. Another thing is you might get too little of the oil um, and it might you might feel frustrated. But... Uh, I mean, it's worth the challenge. It, believe me, you would enjoy the process and learn a lot about about essential oils and realize how important they are and how cool it is to be able to extract your own. So uh, let me know uh, if you manage and see you next time with Life Hackathon.